Hello there. As the title of the video suggests, uh, this is going to be a, a very, very small diorama of um, half track going down the street. Um, it's going to be a cobbled street uh, with a, a small bomb crater. So, uh, small piece of uh, polystyrene and then three millimeter card on the top. So I've marked out where the, the road is actually going to be, so the pavement either side there. And this is where the bomb crater will be. So I've cut another piece which will sit underneath and the hole will be slightly smaller to give the, the appearance of depth. And then uh, I've cut a very, very small hole in the polystyrene to finish off the, the bomb crater. So it's quite deep there from the top there down to the bottom. That's going to be the bomb crater. This will be the uh, cobbled street. So that will sit on top like so. Two of those. And then this will be the pavement the other side of the street. So that's basically the shape. And that will be the idea uh, the half track having to uh, maneuver around the the bomb crater so i'll get all this stuck up and we'll go from there so i've glued everything together the uh, three millimeter cardboard is fixed now to the polystyrene uh, we gouged out a hole in in the polystyrene plus the two pieces of three millimeter cardboard on top uh, plus now the uh, the debris of, uh, of the bomb crater all around there that gives us the depth now quite deep uh, bomb crater the uh, filler that I used uh, around here it took a while to, to, to dry uh, but eventually it does do and then you can just before it dries you can mold it into this uh, kind of debris shape on the top there. Uh, so what we need to do is uh, pour the grout over the uh, road area and that will uh, give us give us the uh, cobbled street. I made a, a Dutch house with a, a cobbled street. Um, I, I did use a different uh, different method. Uh, not, not overly happy with the result but uh, I'll see if I can make it a bit, a bit better this time and uh, also on on the French street as well that's a, a cobbled street there that was a little bit better but I still think we can improve so I mixed up some grey grey grout which is uh, closer to the, the colour of cobble and that will slot down on there. So I've got these two pieces of cardboard either side that will give us a, a key as to how deep I need to make the, uh, the grout. So it just spreads like butter, it's quite easy to spread. And that's all. That's it. Done. So I'll, I'll take off take off the ex excess around the uh, the paths, um, but um, that's basically it. And I'll just give that maybe half an hour, forty five minutes to, to to set a little, and I'll come back and we'll do the uh, in, uh, individual cobbles. Okay, so I had to go ahead and finish off the uh, the cobbles. It was uh, I went off to have a cup of tea, and when I came back, it was almost too dry. So by the time I set the camera up, uh, it would have been impossible to uh, to mark out. But uh, what I did was just with a, a sharpened uh, barbecue stick, just. Uh, 
draw the lines gently across that way and then I use a, one of these small uh, screwdrivers I don't know what the watch watchmaker's screwdriver I don't know very small and with that just mark out each individual cobble that way but there is a certain point as to when the grout dries that is the perfect time to, to, to do this uh, if it's too wet you can't do it if it's too dry so uh, th th there is a time limit as to when you can do it but now it's uh, it's all finished anyway so I'll just wait for that to dry uh, I've done the uh, gutter side so when it's done I'll put the pavement on like so so that will be raised slightly above the uh, above the road uh, and then uh, that'll be it so I'll wait a few hours for that to dry and uh, come back then okay so the uh, the grout has dried now and you can see the, uh, the effect that it has I had to round off so that the, the uh, actual cobbles were a little too square so I rounded each each one each one off um, which took a little bit of time but uh, it, I think you'll find the effect is quite good uh, the pavement either side I just cut uh, half inch squares of uh, three millimeter cardboard and uh, painted them over with uh, a thin uh, filler so that uh, when we come to paint those that there'll be a a, a nice um, indentation to, to to dry brush over the top so what we need to do now is to uh, put the um, filler between the, the cobbles so I've, uh, I've mixed up some uh, filler with a little bit of water and uh, only a little tiny bit of black paint so that we can get the uh, difference in colour between the cobbles and the and the uh, filler so uh, we'll just fill in all the gaps with uh, with this stuff it's pretty much the same colour as uh, I, I painted the, the pavement so it won't matter if I, I get paint on the pavement talk amongst yourselves I've got quite a few uh, ideas of uh, other things I'd like to uh, to put on on YouTube some things that um, I think are unique unique ideas I've not seen them not seen them before so we'll, we'll see how it goes over the next few videos that's pretty much uh, I don't know what you would call the material between cobbles it's not mortar I don't know what you would, how do you would explain it? Anyway, whatever this stuff is, there we are. So now we just do the usual thing. Let's move that away. Slowly but surely the cobbles will reappear. I had to do the pavement and paint it uh, because uh, cardboard and water don't go very well together. But uh, with the coating of uh, filler on the top it, it waterproofs it so it doesn't matter how wet I get it
be better if I use the right side. You see the cobbles coming through again now. Oh, looking lovely. I say I've, I've tried different ways of doing cobbles before, and uh, this is definitely the the better method as far as I'm concerned. That looks pretty good. You can see it's all filled in. I really need some tissue now just to take off a bit more. Okay, I'll leave it there. So when that's dry, now I can uh, paint a few individual uh, cobbles, different colours, and then put a, a black wash over the whole lot and uh, paint in the, uh, the, the bomb crater. And uh, we'll see what that looks like. So give me a few minutes and I'll be back. Okay, that's all done. So uh, now we've got our cobbled street. I've painted a few different colours on each cot. I don't know why I do that because I always rub them off when I've done it. But <laughs> you can just see, you can just see a slight variation in colour uh, on, on the cobbles. And the, the beauty of it being made made like this, you you can use a a piece of sandpaper to take off the top layer. To, just to give some highlights as well to uh, to some of the cobbles, which makes it look uh, look quite good. But I'm very pleased with that. Uh, the bomb crater, I just uh, crushed up some. Uh, I had a video, two or three videos ago, where I made my own bricks. Uh, I just crushed a few of those up, along with uh, some uh, grey stone that I crushed, and. Uh, that all goes to make the debris all around the uh, the crater and then with a bit of white dry brushing on the inside and and on the street that's pretty much it really um, again three millimeter cardboard I'm the three millimeter cardboard king <laughs> just uh, a, a, um, a frame of three millimeter cardboard all the way around to make it to, to finish it off so that's the finished, there's the half track, and there's a, an, a, an HO scale uh, street light, which is far too small, but uh, makes it a little bit more interesting. So <laughs> there we go. That's, uh, that's my version of uh, street cobbles. So if you've got any comments, please uh, get a really close view. There you go. If you've got any comments about uh, about this video, please please uh, comment in the section below. Uh, but more importantly, please subscribe, and uh, I'll be back with uh, a number of uh, new ideas that uh, I think I've got. And uh, thank you for watching this, and I'll see you again soon.